In this problem, we're being asked to draw 2,3-dibutyl-1-methyl-cyclohex-1-ene. Sounds really complicated, but it's actually not. I'm going to advise you to do a line diagram for this, though, because it's going to make life much easier. First thing, when we're, when we're drawing out a compound, we want to start with the parent. So the parent here that we're going to start with is we're going to draw cyclohexane. And... I did say cyclohexane, it is cyclohexene. We'll get to that in a second. Okay, I'm just gonna move this down so it's out of the way a little bit and we don't run into anything. Now that we have our base down, we know that this is cyclohexane. We want to start adding stuff in. First thing that we've got to add in is this is not actually cyclohexane we're dealing with. It's cyclohex-1-ene. So I'm going to add a double bond by adding a second line in. And that automatically is going to designate carbons 1 and 2. So now we know which carbons are which. We have a methyl group coming off of carbon 1. So that will just be a single line. We also have two butyl groups. We have one of them coming off of carbon two, one, two, three, four, and we have one of them coming off of carbon three. One, two, three, and four. And there we go. That's all we need in order to draw this. Drawing the molecule is actually pretty simple. You just have to break it down into all of the component parts.